Hi everybody and welcome to another episode of Eating Good in the Woods, the channel that shows you just because you're camping doesn't mean you got to eat like a hobo. Today to our prep work we're adding the old instant pot into things because tonight I'm making for Mrs. Eating Good in the Woods barbecue quesadillas. Mm, you're going to love these. Stick around, I'll show you how. three large onions cut into rings, a third of a cup of liquid smoke, half a cup of water, and a full bottle of barbecue sauce. Your choice. I've already trimmed the fat, as much as I'm going to, off of the pork, and we're going to put that in there fat side up. And I'm going to season it with a little bit of garlic powder, and my favorite rub. Anyway, Bad Byron's butt rub. We won't be liberal with this because we want lots of flavor. That's what I mean by liberal dusting. And now to cook it. You're going to want to hit the button that says meat stew and then set it for 60 minutes. We're going to check back in 60 minutes and see if it's fork tender. If not, we'll give it another, I don't know, half hour or so. As you can see, it tears apart with great ease and by a fork. So, I'm going to spend the next few minutes shredding this pork up and we'll check back with you in just a second. So now the pork is all pulled and I'm going to run that through a strainer to get the last little bit of that pork grease out of there and I'm also going to run the pot liquor from the instant pot so I can get the onions out of it too. So Mrs. Eating Good in the Wood wants me to save the pot liquor and the drippings from this to make a soup base. This is what we need to do. I've got it all set up in the sink here and I'm going to slowly pour it and strain, uh, strain it out. All right, it's had a few minutes to cool a little bit and drained it all off and got a big old bowl of pot liquor for Mama. And what we've done is we've put everything back in a bowl so that we can mix it up proper. Going to make sure those onions get mixed in through thoroughly. Now, I have two bags. I'm going to fill those two bags up and they're going in the freezer for a later date. The rest, the last third, is staying in the bowl because that's what we're going to use tonight. Now what I've done here is the two bags I made, I've squished them flat as they can get inside the bag. And I let out as much of the air as I possibly could get out. There's many reasons why I do it this way. It takes up less space in your freezer, freezes quicker, thaws out quicker, but more importantly when you put this in your cooler or in your fridge on your camper, it takes up a lot less room. Alright, so that's that. Everything is packaged and put away. The kitchen's all cleaned up. Next time I see you, we have Camp Simulator. Okay, so it's raining like cats and dogs here at Camp Simulator, so I've moved into the, uh, uh, you know, the picnic area. Anyhow, first things first, we need to reheat the barbecue. What I'm going to do is I've got the old black stone here. I'm going to put the barbecue. i got the barbecue on there to reheat. And I'll put a little bit of barbecue sauce in it. But frankly, most of the barbecue sauce that we had earlier got drained away. We're just going to put a little bit in there. That ought to do it. You don't want it dripping of it, you know. You just, you just want it. You want some on there. Okay. Spread it out. 
Now, I'm going to say this. These things, you've already done the hard part by, you know, making the barbecue and storing it and so on and so forth. This is the ridiculously easy part. And Southern, if this dish got any more Southern, it'd be its own first cousin, you know what I mean? Into the right temperature. I'm going to put a little more sauce on it. Low heat. Now, with this bit, you're going to need, obviously, your barbecue sauce, your choice. A full pork. Going to need some cheese and some pickles. What barbecue sandwich would be complete without some pickles? And on top of it is going to go some creamy coleslaw and some pico. Some pico de gallo. You can use salsa if you like. I like pico. All right. That ought to be about hot enough. By the way, Mrs. Eating Good in the Wood made these tortillas from scratch. These are made from almond flour. And she assures me that they are ridiculously simple to make. Now let's take a, just a little bit of pork. Put it in there. Then we're going to get a couple of pickles. Let's do, well, I suppose you could do three. Let's just go two. These uh, tortillas are small. Whoo, this is going to be good. This is going to be hardly fit to eat. Guarantee it. All right. And then on top of that, I'm going to sprinkle a little cheese. Yeah, maybe a little more than that on that one. Okay. Give a little flip and a press. And it starts to hold itself together. It's done. All right. So that's four of them done. Do the other four. Check right back here with you. They were kind of using the spatula as a bit of a press. All right, well, there it is. We've got some pulled pork barbecue quesadillas topped with creamy coleslaw, pico de gallo, and I got a side of buffalo cauliflower. Let's give it a shot. Mmm, 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 mmm. That right there, hardly fit to eat. Make that on your next camping trip. Even your in-laws will like you. So until next time, y'all go eat good in the woods. God bless you and I love you. See you next time. Bye.